Well, uh, meantime, uh, let's show you what to expect along the Mississippi River because the water levels right now are plummeting for the second year in a row. It's causing concerns for the drinking water across the Pelican State. Salt water from the Gulf of Mexico has begun intruding onto the Mississippi River because the water levels are just dangerously low. Now, this dangerous intrusion poses a huge risk to Louisiana's water supply. Joining me right now is Jeff uh, Greshel. He is a hydrologist for the Lower Mississippi Forecast Center. So, Jeff, good to see you here this morning here. So, you know, I think for a lot of people, this was a big surprise here because, you know, typically whenever we think of places like Louisiana, it rains a lot, at least during the summer months, but unfortunately, we haven't been seeing that. Yeah, that's correct, Jason. Uh, it's been very dry over the uh, middle portions of the United States where a lot of the water comes from in, New, in the New Orleans area. So uh, all that rain you were describing on the East Coast and stuff hasn't made its way westward to get into the Ohio Valley to allow us to really have more uh uh, higher levels on the rivers in the lower part of the Mississippi. So really dry conditions for this year. And it, it's pretty unusual. We've had two years in a row now that we've had really low water conditions on the lower part of the Ohio and the lower part of the Mississippi River. Now, Jeff, you know, I know for the folks in Louisiana, the saltwater intrusion is something that they have dealt with before. But is this unusual? The unusual part of it is, is that it's happened two years in a row. Uh, about every 10 years, this situation happens, and the Corps of Engineers has to put a low water seal on the bottom of the Mississippi River to impede that salt water from moving upstream into the New Orleans area. But extremely unusual to have it two years in a row that they have to build that seal to be to protect the New Orleans area from the saltwater wedge. So Jeff, for those of us who are not familiar with this process, can you explain how it works? Because I know what happens up in Missouri does have an impact on what happens in Louisiana, and then that also impacts what happens with the water in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, um, so what happens is if we don't get a lot of rainfall in the upper parts of the Midwest and stuff, that's really where it, all the flow comes from. By the time the Ohio and the Mississippi River come together, that's about 90% of the water that comes down to part of the lower part of the Mississippi River near New Orleans. So what happens is if we get into the late September and October period of time, we start to get low water levels at this time of year. And so when you do that and you don't have enough flow coming out of the Mississippi River, you start to get salt water from the Gulf of Mexico starting to work its way northward on the bottom of the channel of the Mississippi River. It's a very natural process that happens uh, just about every year. But in years where we have very low water conditions like we do this year and in 2022, that saltwater wedge can make its way a lot further up uh, on the lower part of the Mississippi River and start to, to impact some of the water supply issues uh, on the lower part of the river below New Orleans. Jeff, before you go, I want to ask you this last question here. Do you anticipate this continuing? And if so, what can people do? Yeah, and for the immediate future, we're not seeing any conditions that would change what we're seeing currently right now. Uh, we still see low water conditions. There's not a lot of rain that we're seeing over the next couple of weeks across the Midwest that would allow the conditions to change on the lower part of the Mississippi River. So, and unfortunately, it looks like we're going to continue for this probably for the next month to month and a half. All right. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.